Hello. If you clicked on this video, you might be confused by some of the inputs and outputs and uh, patching that comes with using voice meter. Uh, today I'm using Ableton Live. This also probably works with um, things like uh, Cantabile. I think that's how you say it. But you're trying to connect voice meter to uh, a VST host, essentially. So specifically, I'm using Ableton Live. But uh, at any rate, probably the first place to start would be to look at all of these inputs that you have. This might look different if you're using the just plain uh, basic voice meter. I'm on voice meter potato, so I have more strips to use. So if you look over here, my microphone is connected to strip number one. And then you go two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. That is something that confused the hell out of me for a while. Uh, and it's hard to find a straight answer uh, when you're trying to go to the next step. But in here, you need to activate your patch out and back in, which is this stuff here. So patch inserts on number one, two, three, and it goes all the way up. So for something like desktop audio, again, on the basic voice meter, it's probably going to be like, you're gonna have less uh, strips to play with. But on mine, since my mic is one, my second mic is two, three, four, five, my desktop audio is number six. So in voice meter on uh, in voice meter banana, or potato, sorry, whatever food stuff it is, uh, mine is number six, which you see here. So you have to turn both of those on and they highlight when you turn them on, just like that. Uh, left and right, and uh, you can do that for any number of things. I have my first mic, my second mic, and then my desktop. So once you have that turned on, you can come into your VST host. In this case, I am using Ableton Live. And you go over to uh, Options, down to Preferences, in your audio section, you got to make sure that you're using the ASIO driver. If you have an ASIO device, like my case, this is uh, a, a Scarlett 2i2 going into voice meter. So I'm using the ASIO driver and then I'm using voice meter potato. Insert is what you're looking for. So whichever version you're using, you have to make sure you select insert as well. Once you do that, you open up the input config, which it looks like this. In my case, I have to select one and two for my first mic. Three and four would be for my second mic, my second strip on voice meter. So another way to look at that is down at the bottom of the patch inserts. Uh, one and two is right here for my uh, in one, in two. That's my first mic. Three and four is uh, right here as well. And then 5 and 6, 7 and 8, 9 and 10, 11 and 12, if you see that for number 6 here. Makes a big difference when you go into, whoops, when you come back in here and you say uh, 1 and 2, 3 and 4. Um, I wasn't sure if I wanted to use mono or stereo, so I just selected all of them. For my desktop audio, I know I wanted stereo input. So 11 and 12, just on that side there, you select that. And then you come to output as well, because I like to use it as a monitor. I want to send it back to voice meter. Both reasons you turn these back on to look the same as well. And that would be how you connect it basically to your VST host and then back to voice meter when you're using Ableton specifically. Now, after you've done that, you also have to come in here and you see you have all these uh, I think the default when you open up Ableton is you have four random ones um, it doesn't matter what you name them on the top you can name them whatever you want and then you specify down here I want audio from in my case in this case uh, ext which I believe is external in so you turn that on and you select one and two for your uh, first strip in my case, 
three and four would be for my second strip on voice meter, which is my second microphone. And then 11 and 12, if you're using voice meter potato to get your desktop audio to come through here as well. So hopefully that cleared some things up. I know that for me, that took a lot of trial and error to get that right. Um, and basically, uh, once you set it, you can forget it. Um, if there's something that I missed or if there's still any confusion about that, let me know in the comments for sure. I hope that helped you. I'll see you.